All right, join with me today is Reminex. We're going to go over the blog post. Now, why don't we start with what's not in the blog post? How does that sound? Always a good start. Yeah. Still missing, not in this blog post, no mention of the Tadano Mac rewards, no mention of Moondragon farmability, and I also want to say no mention of uh, Omega Red, and then also no gap in between featured characters and red stars. You know, there's a ton of people out there looking for a 10X, you know, 10X Stark promotions and there's no breaks. So none of that is in the blog post. That's a big deal, right? So I, the blog post, I guess, unofficially announces that the the patch is Tuesday because if it's red star rate right up, we're assuming that's going to be the day that the character is released. Okay. Um, so I, I got to think that they, don't they usually run the, the, the build of teams, like the team red stars for, four or five days so there might be a gap this weekend right okay well maybe there'll be a gap i know there's a lot of people looking for that so you know mm-hmm. between now and the patch maybe there'll be a day we will find out uh who is going to be farmable cloak is going to be farmable in the raid store that's kind of a big deal right yeah he, uh, he's been, he's huge i mean he's probably uh, i'm gonna say my uh, superstar from dark dimension five city too and just what he provides for raids and, and the like is okay. important to have the character finally available Okay, not only in this blog post is the, the Kate Bishop's kit, which we're going to read and unpack. There's a lot of un- to unpack. But there's also three minor reworks to Ms. Marvel, America Chavez, and Squirrel Girl. And the one that really seemed crazy to me, and we're just going to go to that one first, is going to be America Chavez and her passive, right? You want to mm-hmm. re- Okay, because this is not specific to this team. So this is America Chavez passive. It says on war defense on spawn, fill speed bar by 25% for adjacent allies on war defense, reduce enemy drain by 100%. And then, then and there's also on war defense. If this character is three or more young Avenger allies, reduce the enemy damage by 20%. Those first two things, how do you see that changing the face of war specifically probably with Dormammu comp- compositions, right? Yeah, so there's a lot of really interesting parts about that, right? Is the speed bar uh, change because, you know, if you can, uh, this is going to affect that to, to a great degree. It's so a plug and play character affecting speed was what they kind of wanted to do with Domino on offense, right? And then they couldn't figure that out and they gave it just to the team. So this is where she gives it to everyone. And that means that. No, adjacent those, allies. Adjacent allies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Adjacent, yeah. adjacent allies, but not specific call outs to, to the young Avengers. Correct. Which is. Correct. Which yeah. is which, which is huge because that kind of adds to her flexibility for those people who maybe aren't, aren't going to get uh, Echo and, and Kate right away. I right. use some additional components of this team. Yeah, that could make, I could, and then also uh, this speed up is also going to affect a lot of people were thinking, Oh, silver surfer can strip the charges away from Kate Bishop. Mm, not if you said, not if you said uh, America Chavez next to her, right? It's not going to work that way. Correct. She gets a huge speed boost. Okay. Factor speed this much faster. We're going to go, we're going to come back. We're going to circle back to that. I just wanted to call that out. Cause that is super important. Uh, then the, the thing that I want to talk about with Kate Bishop is first thing hero global tech controller, young Avenger. Uh, are you surprised by the tech call there? A little bit, but I, 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 I kind of yeah. broke it down. I, I was thinking that probably, uh, they wanted to kind of lean into her being, uh, you know, younger and, building up with the wisdom and, and skill. And so they, when they, when they do make the design choices like this, they, they usually have a, uh, an idea in their mind. So they probably were wanted to say that, you know, she's probably lying more at, at tech than the experience that she has. Right. And they said, they said in the strike time video, maybe this will help in the raid, the raids. I mean, we'll see, right. She kind of has a storm like mechanic in that. Uh, so we'll stay tuned. I mean, do I think that she's going to be a raid solution? I think she's kind of a, the tech by committee. Okay. Uh, well, you know, yeah, I was a little concerned yeah. about the stats, which I sent you, by the way. Yeah, okay, let's take a look at the stats. Uh, which one do you want to look at first? We've got uh, her overall health, damage, and armor. Those look pretty modest, right? Yeah, so I wonder if they're missing the 25% bonus from uh, Stark Tech. Like, sometimes those images aren't, you know, uh, 100% accurate. So we'll, we'll definitely know soon uh, when that happens. So if she does wind up with higher health, I think she's a lot more viable right now. Uh, right. Because the the 113 speed does concern me a little. Yeah, that's a little slow, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, in, in the war, it's not going to matter because she's going to be adjacent to America Chavez and get a 25 boost. But if you're talking about in raids, right? And her viability outside of raids, uh, outside right. of war defense. Yeah. 
And I think that's the big problem is, is you know, how do you, how do you use her? Uh, one yeah, cool thing is- Because yeah. there's a ton of boosts from the other young Avengers that won't be affecting her inside of a raid team. You're, we're talking about viability outside of the team. So uh, this is not too super exciting is what you're saying. So there's definitely, definitely really cool things ab about her kit that are outside of the team. You know, the, 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 the charge mechanic, the, the, the longer the raid, the, the node goes so you know it's not going to be like we're speeding up and hitting auto right the more you can build up, build up those charges for potentially just destroying like a you know a like in, in the boss node right um, but that, that that doesn't necessarily help with some of the the early nodes but i i do think there's some viability uh depending on if, if she's healthy enough to survive the initial onslaught from, from let's, uh, let's read her passive and then we're going to work up from her kid backwards uh, on spawn, apply offense up for two turns to self and all young, young Avengers allies. On death of a young Avenger, or when a young Avenger ally drops below 50%, attack a random enemy for 200% piercing and apply blind and slow. And they mentioned inside the strike time video that if you like one shot somebody, it'll trigger twice. Did you catch that? Yeah, it sounded like it. Okay, so yeah, I mean, if you take somebody from 60% health down to zero, it'll pop twice. When this character drops below 50% health, gain two evade. That's kind of a big deal, right? Uh, so, and that's that's like the, uh, what we see from like Lady Deathstrike and, and, yeah. and other characters to give them that added sort of ability. That might be helpful inside of raids. Gain 25% resistance. Young Avenger allies also gain that resistance. Now, this is where it's interesting. On war defense, gain five charged on spawn of the initial match. This attaction only occurs once per war. On war defense, on turn, if charged, grant one ability energy to self and all young Avenger allies, then lose one charge. What's your thoughts about that? Uh, the ability energy is pretty pretty cool. So basically, it's, it's self uh, um, deflating. So it's it's not the heroes for hire disaster where we, we didn't understand right. that they they weren't gaining it again. So it's very specifically called out. So I think this is a little bit better than Heroes for Hire in that regard. Yeah, it doesn't seem as drastic as Heroes for Hire. It looks like it's going to be like a more straightforward match. Like you're not going to be just like... The problem with Heroes for Hire is you get wiped before you can take a turn. And that wasn't right. very fun. This looks like it's going to be able to make... You're going to be able to chip away at it a little bit. Okay, so then basically we're going to go to her special first because her special is what's going to pop off first. Trick Arrows, energy cost 3-3. Attack primary adjacent targets for 275% damage. Flip three positive effects on each target into negative effects. If this character has charged, apply offense up to two turns to self and all young Avenger allies. And then if the character does not have charge, fill speed bar by 75% and then gain charge. And this attack cannot be dodged. That could be kind of fun. She's going to be going pretty pretty frequently there at the end if once the charges are gone. Yeah, and then she's going to be filling up uh, energy. So she's you know kind of helping us figure out who our target will probably be. Yeah, that might be useful in raids. Uh, I mean, I'm just thinking about that. Like that, that that might you know should be able to go quite a bit. Yeah, that's the thing. Is so that, so she'll start at the 113 speed. She'll do her her special. She'll she will not charge. She'll gain charge and go again. So she gets that that early burst. Yep. And then her ultimate, which has two five. Now in war, I'm going to guess that this is going to go off turn two. Attack all enemies for 300 percent piercing. If this character has charged, apply blind for two turns. To the enemy with the highest damage and two negative two random negative effects for two turns to all other enemies and that that comes from defense down disrupted offense down and slow what are you thinking about that right there those are great because i think the defense down uh, offense down slow and disrupted all play a factor in how they can work in a raid environment mm -hmm. uh, and again it is it's just making sure that you get this uh with a charge right right and then losing charge doesn't sound like that big of a deal because then hopefully next turn you can do that middle ability and then you gain all that speed bar if she doesn't have charge when you do the middle ability. All right, so like when she has charge, do you want to be popping this off? And then when she doesn't have charge, you want to be popping this this, this special, it seems like. Okay, yep. and then on war defense, don't lose charge. And on war defense, gain 100% extra focus. On war defense, apply speed up to turns to self and all young Avengers allies. And this attack cannot be dodged or counterattacked. Oh, there you go. That seems pretty cool, though, right? Yeah, it's pretty. It's a pretty big deal. Okay. And then lastly, her basic attack. Now they mentioned in the strike time video that they thought there's going to be either striker or raider, and they mentioned here her basic does have a call out to crit, and where if it does crit, so some people are probably saying raider. 
Attack primary target for 225% piercing, clear two random positive effects. On crit, chain one adjacent enemy for piercing and clear two random positive effects. Do you think that type of an ability is worth it just to get Raider on her? Uh, it really depends. We'll have to break it down. I, I, I still think that the striker or skirmisher combo might still be better. Okay. The double tap is going to have the same effect, at least to a single target, where you're going to be able to potentially burst a target down and get rid of a bunch of uh, positive effects like, you know, uh, yeah, you know, spe- skirmisher, like skirmisher striker is going to still be popping off because of uh, Ms. Marvel, right? Correct. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it right now. Probably striker is going to be the right, the right way to go. Uh, on war defense, apply taunt to each target. Oof. Oof. I don't know how that that's that seems like an ability that you wouldn't want sometimes, right? Uh I so the idea behind it is is war defense has the targeting priority. Right. You know, um, so basically it's gonna be the basic. Um so what happens is if if uh it, it'll allow them to focus to focus through that, but because it's because it's uh War defense, it, it really doesn't matter as much. It just adds more to the RNG flair of it. So sometimes you may maybe it'll go on Adam Warlock and you're like, oh, I win. And right. then sometimes it goes on on Philavel and Moon Dragon, right. and you're you automatically lose, right? And that and that that's kind of like the 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 theme of some of these war defenses is, is RNG, right? And if this character has charged, gain twenty five percent crit chance for this attack. This attack cannot be blocked or dodged. All right, very good. Let's, let's go down to America Chavez, and we talked about this. Um, basically, uh, the biggest thing about this, the new kit, is that if Kate Bishop's an ally, her, her special will always crit. That's fine. On her ultimate, uh, on war defense, target the enemy with the least speed bar. On war defense, instead of flipping three positive, instead of clearing three positive effects, it flips three positive effects, But more, huge. which is huge, right? But more importantly than that, we we already talked at the beginning of the video uh, uh, on spawn. Fill speed bar for twenty five percent of adjacent allies. Reduce enemy drain by one hundred percent. And then if this character has three or more young Avenger allies, reduce enemy damage by twenty percent. And then also she has a call out to max health, and so that young Avenger and hero brawl allies gain twenty five percent max health. Uh, you think you're going to be able to use her right away outside of this team? I mean, because the patch is probably going to go live, and these this this particular buff is going to be live on on Tuesday, right? Tuesday yep. of next week. So probably this could, you could probably do stuff with her right away. Yeah. Doom brawlers, right. <laughs> you know, it's just a lot of, oh a lot God. of cool things, a lot of cool things you could do to make this fun. So take away the extra speed. So it's going to be one of those things where you're going to think about the enemy speed, especially uh, if they, you know, with, with this kit, because, you know, adjacent allies, right. you have to look at that. And, and hopefully the interface is, is showing that correctly on the uh, the war screen. <laughs> yeah, and the, and their stat increases. These stat increases don't look super crazy, actually. Uh, so think about this: they're getting plus seventy five percent health on war defense. Okay, that's the total. So if you break that on the numbers, it's additional plus seventy five percent health. And at five hundred k, you're you're potentially looking at with med bay and all this stuff like two million health. Oh. And if two, Two million health as a striker at level three. This that, that striker attack could be doing uh, between two hundred and twenty-five k. And so I have to check those numbers. I could be wrong, uh, but it seems like this is going to be one of those things where it's it's just you're going to be hitting a brick wall for a while until you whittle it down. Okay. All right. Then let's go down to uh, where are we at. We're going to go down to Miss Marvel. Stat increases again. They look relatively modest, but you're saying that it's going to add up. Her basic attack now says gain deflect and gain two deflect instead of one deflect her special uh heals a little bit more and then on war defense she'll gain taunt when she does her special her right. passive uh basically uh now will folk on turn grant assist now to random young avenger or your hero brawler ally so the the skirmisher striker is going to be all over the place right correct all right, and then here, Ally drops below 50% health, gain taunt. It was the same way before. If the Ally is Young Avenger or Brawler, also gain two deflect. When this character drops below 50% health, clear the taunt, and then gain 25% armor. Young Avenger allies gain 25% armor on war defense, gain additional 25% armor. Uh, young Avenger allies gain additional 25% armor. And boy, on war defense, Young Avenger allies gain 25% max health. So that's what you were talking about, having almost these, these 2 million health pools, right? Right. Well, potentially, we'll have to take a look at the numbers. I, I don't know if that teal gear was representative of their final numbers with the 
Yeah, uh, we don't we don't know. We're we're guessing. We're gonna have to wait to play this. Uh, this is a lot to unpack. Anything else about uh, um, Ms. Marvel that was noteworthy to you when you looked at it? No, but Squirrel Girl like oh, I'm, is amazing. All right, tell me what's so exciting about Squirrel Girl. So now she actually uh, clears negative effects before healing. Yes. So on so war you, defense, it, right? Yeah, it's gonna be really hard to control. Uh, and so that was a big weakness, which you know the blind and and the like and heal block could really just just take them out of the fight. So this is specific call outs to prevent uh, Silver Surfer from getting in there and just and just annihilating the team. Yeah, and if she has max health on war defense, she'll gain ability energy. So she's gonna be doing this stuff all the time. Like if you Correct. don't if you don't ping her, you know, it's kind of like when you play against symbiotes, you gotta ping Venom to keep him below ninety percent so he doesn't get a defense up to the whole team. She's gonna be doing all kinds of crazy stuff if you're not constantly pinging her. Correct. All right. Uh anything else about this team now? I mean, worth mentioning? Uh no, I think I think it's it's just um you know, you you've got to see you've got some additional speed bar from the I think it's what the 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 ult on Squirrel Girl, yep. so they're gonna get a bunch of turns. So you're gonna get a bunch of like wombo combo uh, attacks where you follow up and then yeah. you're gonna get a dis. She's gonna be fill speed bar for ten percent for each young Avenger ally. This is new on her ultimate, right? So that's gonna be going off all the time. Cannot miss. Cannot be counterattacked. All right, and then her passive gain twenty percent drain. Allies gain drain. Gain max health. Young Avenger allies gains max health. Uh, it's changed a little bit to new things. Younger Avenger Ally drops below 75% health. Apply two deflect to that ally. Ugh. And then when Young Avenger drops below 50%, apply, apply defense up to that ally and fill this character speed by, by 30%. It was that way before. When a Young yeah. Avenger ally drops below 25% health, apply two death proof to that ally. And this is everywhere, by the way. Yeah, that's that's everywhere. Yeah, that's not just in not just this team. And then gain 25% drain. Young Avenger Ally just gain the drain. And then the max health, Young Avengers gain the max health. So, so tell me that this is not going to be unfun. Uh, I I think I think we have we have two counters that I think are probably already built into our roster. Uh, we just have to think about it. Uh, I do not I do not think they're automatically uh, uh, you're automatically going to lose with Infinity Watch. They have some uh, unique counters that prevent them from from doing their thing. Uh, but I I do think that you know uh, a teams like a. Uh, um, you know, Eternals with speed up can really prevent them from getting their their ability off with additional control. But uh, I I I don't think that uh, I don't think that people are going to automatically have these fully built up, and we're going to see these monster teams from day one, right? It's there. It's going to be it's going to be uh, the additive uh, of there, and and we have to see. I don't you know, I don't I, like defensive war teams. This kind of drives me a little bit insane, to be honest with you. I'm a little bit worried about it. I mean, I think a lot of people already say they they don't they, they don't care about war. And I wonder if this is going to push more people into that category at the end of the day. Uh, war, so I, we can talk war reworks in another video, but I think the big the big key here is um, there is enough of these kits that aren't war specific that lets them be usable outside for additional theory crafting. Okay. So uh, adding to the fact that these this team could become viable uh, as a you know grand tournament team, right. uh, be, being the fact that you know that, that you have all these things that Squirrel Girl does outside of outside of the, um, you know, the, the, the war. So uh, I think that, you know, not having those those things is a big deal. So okay. I, I think you have opportunity to use them in things like tower mode coming going forward and actually having a useful usefulness and utility out of them. Right. Much, much more than I think we've had from other war defense teams, uh, with the exception of Hero Hire, when they finally added Shang-Chi that brought it really together. Okay. Uh, but And then as I say, I, as far as release for Kate, Bas uh, Kate Bishop, they didn't give any... They didn't give any information on how she's going to be released. And then they talk about Echo's event. We're just going to move on in the blog post and go to Echo's event. Echo's event is going to be a blitzing event that goes for 15 days. And this is going to have an event store. These are widely liked, right? Yeah, these are these are pretty cool. Uh, a lot of agency, they actually give us dates. So I think that's that's a, a big deal. Yeah, and in addition to all of the 50... Racket point, there's going to be a milestone over the top of it for 15 days. And then they're going to have leaderboards and they're going to have a bunch of bonus events stacked over the top lastly character availability cloak is going into the raid store on february 1st and they're well, they're working on moon dragon right hopefully right we get moon dragon someday see that's moon dragon seems forever right i mean if the fact that that infinity watch is is not going to be it's literally the the uh, being negated by this that we talked about that shelf life conversation we had earlier yeah. today, right? Yeah. You know, this just tells you that is Moon Dragon gonna be released past their part of their shelf life. I don't think so. 
I think that they're built for something different, but uh, that's something we'll have to see. Okay. And then what's uh, weekly events? We've got uh, uh, double drops for Villain Mystic Controllers for Phoenix. Phoenix is coming on January 31st. Uh, we're having a Killmonger Blitz. We're also probably going to have another uh, Star-Lord Blitz, right? T'Challa Blitz. Strike Pass for Season Health is what? Deathpool? Were you surprised by that? Yeah, I think it's awesome. Okay. That's uh, that's amazing. That's really good to have a character like that. That has such significance for, for players to have access to. Okay. February 1st. It's a subject to change with the version 5.10 release date. So if the if it is, in fact, February 1st, which is Tuesday, uh, Red Star will be boosted for Echo on the 1st. Uh, we talked about that at the beginning of the video. Uh, then double drops for Wakandans. Two times zero is still zero. Star-Lord Blitz is on the 3rd, which is Thursday. And that is that. So um, overall, what do you think of the, the entire post? So uh, I like the fact they give us the actual duration of the event here. So 15 days. So when we're doing our calculations, we know what to expect from like currency estimations uh, when, when the first goes live. Uh, I, I do like the fact that we have, you know, the patch day, especially for what we do. Uh, and I think I think it, it's there's some nice little bullet points here at the end. I, I, I think that Young Avengers are going to be a formidable uh, team in our hands. Remember that they, they're going to be usable in Avengers nodes. Uh, so if there is a reworked Greek raid or... Uh, you know, they do count as Avengers for, for that yeah. qualification. So it does it does flex into that. And I think again for people who aren't sold on on building this team, they have they have an additional character like you know, especially new players, uh with with um with uh you know America Chavez that you can just drop in there and give a Jason Ally speed up. So again, a lot of theory crafting, a lot of things that are happening outside of war. So this you know, are they a strong war team? I think they're gonna be frustrating. I, yeah, I, I think they're gonna be frustrating. I don't think they're as bad as, but but think about it. Was as were, were as Guardians frustrating? I I, I remember the, the the only two that I remember being super frustrating is I remember Red Skull being frustrating, but we had a pretty known counter to him at the start, and then Heroes for Hire was frustrating with Infinity Watch, and so we're gonna have to see how this plays out. But it, it's it looks frustrating with Heroes like his Heroes for Hire was frustrating. Well, I think I, so. I remember as Guardians specifically, mm -hmm. and then uh, Marauders. They they were they were frustrating for a while. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, you're a little bit more optimistic than me. I don't like defensive war teams. I guess I, that's probably probably I, I, that's just the way it is, you know. But anyways, it feels like it takes a little bit of agency away from players and makes things a little bit more predictable and adds a little bit frustrating. It slows down the wars, and I'm not really sure, you know. And it doesn't feel good to build up characters that. You know, you don't get to play, but they do have these characters do have merits outside of just defense on war, which you brought up. All right. Anything else you want to add up? You want to say before we go, we're going to wrap it up. I hope they're fun everywhere else. That's a good question. That's a big question, right? I don't yeah. think and you, you nailed it. War defense teams aren't fun. All right. All right, guys. Thanks for watching and keep on gaming. All right, but I'm going to hop off. I'll see you. So hot, I forgot what I should have.